Oh, right. Now, you notice we're not where we left off in the basement of the factory, or rather the lower levels of the factory, but we're here in the courtyard outside the church. Because uh, when I went looking to find out what I missed, why I couldn't find the key to the door in the uh, factory, it's because the key I needed is apparently hidden here in the church. Uh, down in the factory, we found this factory entrance key, which is great. I use that to get through the uh, double doors at the entrance of the factory. And we also found this church key, which unlocks the door here in the church that I was unable to unlock before. Uh, up here on the third floor. So, um, I guess we're going to go there. I really didn't expect to have to backtrack all the way to the church from the factories. It's a little bit, uh, uh, I don't know, frustrating to have to come all the way back here. And actually, just good thing out there for you that I cut out my uh, trip back here because I completely uh, got lost on the way several times. Anyway, the door we need is here. And inside we have a small bedroom with uh, some loot. And a key. That's the factory basement key we need. Alrighty. We should be set now when we go back to the basement to get through that locked door. And what's this scroll? It is... Jingabon! No more of these incessant games. We hired you to create the security lock, not Babylon strangely and keep secrets from us. It is our vault, therefore it is a secret for others, not for us. As soon as you're finished, you're to give us the passcode and you will be reassigned back to Dayport. No more enigmas. What the trickster does two consonants, two vowels mean? We're not paying you to have to solve our own damn puzzle. Bishop Averbred. Two consonants, two vowels. Well, uh, I don't think that's going to help me with the vault. Oh! Objective complete. Find out what happened in the final hours of the factory. Well, let's read it. These walls scream with terror. Two nights have I been here. I can feel the stiffness dry in my throat, my body crying for food and water. The walls of our precious builder have been breached. The dead walk amongst us. My comrades, once so stalwart in their faith, number among the undead now. There is a foul plague that has come up from the tunnels, from whatever unholy mats rests down there. Whatever infected them has now infected us. I am but alone in this place. We thought we were invincible, sending a small party down into the depths. When only two returned, we should have known better. But the treasure, the ancient gem they carried, was more than enough to tempt me. I ordered Maxus to send another, and what a grave mistake it was. All of them returned, but the state of their flesh rotted, as if by disease. They attacked my brothers, my workers, grabbed them and bit them, tore them with their claws. I heard the screams coming from down below as I slept, and I rushed out to sea to find what it was that was making that awful sound. I saw them, Henry and Thomas and Ebrius. They walked as if they had sticks against their backs, limping, for Ebrius had his gut ripped open, his innards showing. It was all I could do to. I crouched behind the window and watched as the guards on duty below, my beloved Matthew and Peter, got torn to shreds. Thomas grabbed Peter as if he had the strength of a thousand men, ripped his arm right off. I saw what remained when the aftermath came. Yesterday, during the daylight hours, I ventured down below, step by step, careful not to be seen. The factory seemed deserted when I got there, but I knew better. Someone had lit all of the torches and kept the lights going from the windmill generators. No dead man would do that. There's something else there, some kind of force. It's abominable, unholy. How it exists in the chambers of the great builder, I do not know, but I know I must stop it. Yesterday, I could not. When I was about to go to the basement, one of my brothers, unrecognizable from his skeletal bloody face, ran at me, a vicious sword raised to chop me down, and I ran. There were more of them. They had blocked off the tunnel route back to town, my only escape. I was forced back here to this temple, and now I reside here. I can hear the walls pounding with angry fists. I am so frightened I cannot breathe. They pound and hack at the door. What would happen to me if it weren't for solid hammerite construction? I must do something or I will die here, alone. I must take up my hammer and venture forth, smash whatever is in my way. The unrighteous must not go unpunished. The plague must be contained. But I have to think, one more day to plan, and then I must defend my life and honour. 
Uh, right, so that's what happened here in the final hours. Uh, oh, lights. Nice. Um, and a bit of loot. Also good. The uh, priest, I guess. This must be the priest room. He retreated here. Locked himself in for a while and then went to fight them. I guess he locked the door behind him. Very uh, thoughtful of him, but uh, not very helpful for me. And uh, then he went to find them, fight them, and became one of them and was wandering the factory with them. Well, alright. Uh, no, that's the wrong way. Not down there. Back this way. So now we have the key for the factory basement, uh, which is that door west of the ramp room that I couldn't open before. So if I go back to the ramp room, uh, this way, this way to the factory, yeah. Uh, back to the factory, find our way back to the ramp room, and then we should be able to proceed with the mission. Uh, I could go check the vault again, but I really don't know what the code is, and despite that extra clue to Constance two valves, well, there's still far too many uh, options possible there, so it would just take much too long. I'm not going to try it. I will, however, uh, look it up before uh, at the end of the game, or rather after I finish the mission, and see if it, what's in there. And if it's something interesting, I'll put it on the end of the video. Uh, which way to the factory? This way. So, what now? Is I always get lost in here? Ah, oh, yeah, this is the factory entrance. Um, there's our friends that uh, I unlocked with this uh, factory entrance key that we picked up. And, uh, oh, let's leave it open. Uh, I guess we'll make a bit of noise on this floor, but it doesn't really matter. Zombies outside don't really care. So, what's the quickest way back to the factory? The lower floor of the factory where we were. I think it's this way. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, well, it's not there. Uh, okay, yes. This is the room where the zombie is drawing up here on this ledge. And down here. Whoops. Down here gets us through this door, I think. Should be the ramp room, yes. And our other zombie friend who walks around there. Uh, awesome, so here we are at the ramp room again. And we need to go to the west, which is that way. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait for our zombie friend to make it very fast. There it is. Stop complaining. Alright. And here is the basement door. I have the key for. Perfect. Alright, what do we have down here? Nothing. Anything under the stairs? Nope. Nope. Gotta check that. And play with. This is weird. This looks familiar. That door is half open. Have I been here before? Surely not. No. No, I've definitely not been here before. There's a haunt up there, still alive. Uh, I'm looking this way. I'm gonna. But he did turn, so I'm gonna wait for him to turn around before I try and move forward a little. Uh, good morning. There's another one too. Come on, come on, turn around here. Stop looking in my direction. All right, let's go. Dark patch here, darkish. Do. Uh, um, can I get past? No, no, no! Don't see me! Don't see me! Please don't see me! Thank you. Better. Turn away now. That'll do it. Click. Turn on dark corner. Is it dark? Yes. Nice and dark. Uh, I guess we could have put a torch back there, but uh, sneaking, you know? Oh, it's 
but you like it. Oh, don't look at me again. I want to sneak around and get behind you. That's better. There's a friend. Okay. Go for it. Slowly. Darkness, please. Yes. Alright, now, I guess I want to wait till this guy turns his back and his friend just walks by. And then I'll try and swallow them, I guess. Backstab this one here. I hope his friend doesn't notice. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Oh no, oh, shit, he's on me. Ah, no. Don't, no, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me. I'll take that. And that. Aha! Ow! Ouch, don't hit me. Ow! Don't hit me. Ow. Ow. me. <laughs> Alright, he's dead. Uh, I really wasn't expecting that fight. But, uh. I my healing potion. I was hoping his friend wouldn't see me, but uh, of course he heard his. His other horn go down and immediately turn around because my bloody glow in the dark sword lights me up like a Christmas tree. Uh, he was onto me right away. <clears throat> Alright, so what do we have back here? There's another room. Here's more undead back there. Before we go there, let's check out this side room that I had skipped before. Area closed for construction. Beware dynamite. I wonder if these boards can be smashed. Probably not, because the other ones should <laughs> Well, okay. These ones can. And none of the other ones on the level could. Well, fair enough. Let's kill the battle while, we, while we're here. And, uh, what have we got in this room? Uh, what's that? Ah, uh, letter. Mr. Clemens, I'm not sure if you have been reading the security reports filed by your Hammerite brothers, but the ones that have been coming in of late have been ludicrous. I understand there was some speculation and hearsay when those tunnels were discovered, but things have gotten extraordinarily out of hand. I was a young chap once too, full of piss and vinegar and ready to exchange ghost stories of the old quarter and the like with my comrades, but I think this lot takes it too far. The reason we assign watchmen is to make sure none of those dreaded sewer spiders get out into the factory and breed. Or worse, if the tunnels somehow connect to the outside to let in some rogue or bandit in the night. We really have no idea what's down there, but I can assure you that these supposed ideas circulating around simply are not true. There has not been a certified ghost sighting by a hammer since the dawn of the Metal Age, and I believe this is for a reason. We are in times when such fairy tales are forgotten. Loud banging, moaning, whispers, either you've hired a crazy lot or the guards have imbibed too much wine. Either way, you're not doing your job. We've just gotten word that you have to organise an official search party to go down there. No scouting this time, this is the real thing. Arm them to prepare for any resistance from those dreaded spiders or barracks. They get big when they can get when they can breed in isolation. But this should put an end to this ridiculous undead nonsense. In the meantime, try to keep everyone under control and away from the wine and the shrooms. Cardinal L. Alright. Well, the search party came down and, uh... Ooh. More... Raise your heads. More loot. Such party certainly came down here and uh oh it's a shelf? I don't know, pipe. Uh and they did return, all of them, with uh rudderless life. Oh, explosive head arrows. Now, what's the big way down? Is it anything gonna explode down here? No, I guess I was just talking about the uh arrows there in the chest. Well that's nice for me. I now have Four of them. Hopefully they'll come in handy. Okay. What have we got down this way? Well, can't see any. Uh, so I guess make a dash for a dark corner. And drop down the bellies! Hiya! And hiya! Take that. Ah, and here's the uh, lift. Yeah, sharp. I'm looking for. Can we pick it? No. And do any of the keys that we have work? I doubt it. Alright. What's in here? It's, uh, there's a shovel and a pick. I guess it's just 
coal storage or something. Alright. And here's the wall that's been broken down. That leads to the tunnels. This looks like the way in. I'm not getting through there. Alright, uh, we found our way through the plant basement and into the manse as the first objective. And, right, we are uh, getting close to our loot. We still need another uh, almost 200. We're quite a lot closer than we were before. So we got down here zombies. How many? Uh, there's uh, two of them patrolling around there. Well, they're not a big threat. It's just annoying if they see me. Let's try and make sure they don't see me. Let's just kind of follow them around a bit. Where's he going? Well, let's just check in this room. Well, he's gone. This fellow's gone. I guess I'll just... I don't know, I'm sitting here and wait for them to pass by. This is definitely a constructed room here with, like, uh, this is not just some random barrack tunnels. So, uh, clearly an important place for the pagans. Uh, here he comes. We should hurry up. But, uh, and I hope he doesn't feel me as they walked by. No, that should be fine. Alright, let's go. Let's see what's here. Another statue with some loot. Okay. And I know there's a room in there with some dead bodies, but I think I want to see what's this way. Uh, another body. Is that a zombie or not? I hope not. No, apparently not. And here, ooh. This looks very more like we have wisps, we have what appear to be giant trees. And, uh, yeah, and pools of water with, uh, oh, loot in the bottom. Oh, that's nice. And, oh my god. Did you see that? Fuck, that's a big spider. I wonder if the explosive arrows are going to work on that. I guess I'm going to have to try. Let's go right through it. Well, let's try another. Okay, that hit it. That's the draw. Uh, let's. Oh, okay. Phew. Two. I think it was enough. Yeah. So down here we have ginormous trees and ginormous spiders, basically the size of, I don't know, elephants almost. Just, ugh, look at the size of that thing. It's like, uh, I mean, it's actually better yet. Let's not look at it. Uh, what's here? Um, get up. Is, yes. uh, is that the hammer place? No. No, that's definitely very pagan looking. Um, and a pagan banner on the top there. I'm gonna have to try. Is that is that ceiling wood? Let's test it. Well, it didn't uh, didn't make a breaking noise. Can I see my arrow there? Did it stick in? I don't know. I guess we could try a rip arrow anyway. Yeah, that works. Let's try one more. I can actually climb up it better. There's zombies inside, but that's alright. Okay, let's deal with this banner. Cool. And uh, get this right back. Oh, get my other arrow back too. Alright, uh, oh, whoop. I did not intend to fall down there. Fair enough. Okay, let's get back up and uh, let's get our arrow back here. Okay, now is there anything else up here? Okay, in this brazier. 
<laughs> no. Right back here. Not sure it's supposed to be here. No. When the sound stops, no, I'm definitely not supposed to be there. But anyway, I don't think there's anything else of interest up here, so let's go and see what we can find inside. Um, apart from zombies, of course. And where is he? In here then. Oh, there he is. Right, get back in the dark. Uh, oh, looks a bit different than the normal zombies. Alright, well, why don't I use my holy water arrows? Because I haven't been using them all mission. I miss. Great. Uh, let's just let's just go for it. He's not gonna find us. Nothing in there. Gonna search around and not find us. Let's open the other door so we can get out more easily if we need to. Dark sword. While he's sending a dark corner, let's go find out what's got up here. We've got more haunts. I don't know if he's gonna anticipate. I think it's fine, I just kinda wanna wait for the comes down. Alright, so this guy probably have to and someone else walking around. He's patrolling again. So I think I should just go find a dark spot here somewhere. Don't see me. Alright, nice and dark. And uh, they seem to be haunted by the sound or something like it. Walking fast. I don't know, he might have seen me and he's coming back to search. Bollocks. Alright, let's make sure I stay well out of his way. So probably give up before he gets anywhere near. Yeah, anyway, uh, I think I still have some mines, and I'm kind of inclined to use them on these two parts of controlling around here. And, uh, uh, yes, two mines. Great. So, I'm just gonna try and wait till they're near each other, bothering the mine, so hopefully uh, one mine will get both of them. Uh, economy, always, always a good thing. Where's the other guy coming around? Oh look, he's stopping to preach, there's his little light down there. Preach his pagan sermon. I'm dead. I'm dead sermon. Okay, there we go. Where did it go? Drop it so soon. Don't know where it went. Uh, I think it sounded like it hit the carpet, but uh, I can see it. Let's just zoom in and see if I can see where it landed. The other one was. I didn't kill him. Let's do it with the sword. Okay, he's got spells. Uh, die! Die! Yes, he's down. Alright. Now let's just run around these four zombie fools. They're not going to be And uh, let's give him a moment to uh, calm down a little. Okay, so that's. Uh, I guess that's the pagan priest. Uh, yeah, well, the undead priest that was uh, causing all the mess, and probably that book on his lectern is the book of spells that I need for that objective here. And so I guess I'm going to go back and steal that. Let's see if those zombies are uh, calm now. Actually, let's just go anyway. You're like, what are they going to do to me? Come here, come here. All right, let's go around the other way. Actually, since I think that's almost at the end, let's pull up my holy water out again. Let's make use of these. So, 
die. Boom. Alright, you two. Seems a bit of a waste, but uh, they do explode in such a lovely way. And I think we're pretty near the end of the mission now. What we've got to do is... Um, anything in here? Some more holy water arrows? Well, no, you don't have any water in the arrow things mission at all. And we've got balance to drop, to drop <laughs> Besides, there wouldn't be holy water arrows in here. In a pagan place like this. If they had unholy arrows, maybe. And here's the book. What's this say? Great is the stone of the beastesses and howls and bloods and cuts that runs red like hacked fleshes of the forest. Gods forever we is a stone that stands red and pure and life givers to us like a woodsy lord. And this is where they must have. Oh, they have a statue of the trickster in those up for So, so this must be where the uh, spirit stone came from. I wonder if I can put it back. I can't even drop it. Alright. Let's take the book. And I can't read it. Um, Alright. What's back here? Another banner. Must die. Yeah. Done. Uh, small loot. Oh, great. We've got our loot objective now. 900. And. Ooh. Oh, that was pretty valuable. We went from less than 800 to uh, just over 1,000 with those two chests. Nice. Anything else? No. Okay, I think we're done. Uh, I believe all we got to do is find our way all the way back up to the top. Should be uh, pretty easy. There's nothing really uh, to stop us anymore, I don't think. Uh, it's a holy tree. Oh right, yeah, that's where I found the loot before the diamond. Um, yeah, spider. All right, that's the way back up to the battery. Let's just check around here in case I missed anything. In here. I'm not sure, I don't think it did, but uh, just worth a quick check. Nothing there. Alright, I think we're done. Time to go back. Got to still a few holy water arrows and uh, explosive, well, one explosive head arrow, uh, which I could use on the zombies on the way back, but I uh, don't really know if I need to bother, you know? They're not, you just run around them. Did I explore everything here? Uh, I went there. And I didn't come through here, but uh, I can now. They're not zombies. Do I have any loot? No. Oh, that's loot. Okay, hello there. Don't mind me. Just carry on about your business. Hello, friend. Alright, here we go. Back upstairs. Back through the hole in the wall, and uh, I guess the cook's way back up is going to be the lift shaft if I can access it. And yep, there's a button. Awesome. So we can just climb up this ladder. And, uh, hopefully, we can make the jump at the end without falling off. I've made it every time so far, but you know, it's always always the first time to fail. And uh, it is a little bit awkward. Which is uh, kind of annoying. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, almost, almost didn't make it, but uh, almost is not good enough. Um, that was the quickest way back out. Uh, here, this is the entrance. All right, uh, go up factory entrance and uh, find a way easily enough back to where we start. Find an exit from the manse. Uh, so we should actually be finishing the mission pretty soon. Yep. The book I managed to get my hands on seems to be pretty important, the way the undead were guarding it. It should be just the key to finding out more about the history of this stone, once I get it translated. Getting my hands on it was a lot more trouble than I expected, and I'm hoping this will be the end of my little quest. The last thing I want to do is wander through more dark caverns full of haunts and zombies. Now that I'm back on the surface, it's time to get out of this hellhole and get in touch with somebody who can make sense of this tone. Alright, that was the Inverted Mance. That took us two hours and seven minutes. We found uh, almost all the loot, only missing about 150. And uh, killed one apparition, I guess that was the priest. 
Uh, Hornet's killed, 14. Secrets found, 0 out of 2. I wonder what they were. I wonder if one of them was the, uh, the safe. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's go continue it. Right, nothing there, so let's go and check out that safe. So I did actually look up the code for it earlier. Um, so I'm going to see what's in it now. B. A. Yeah, um, what is it? Yeah, Bane was a word, and I really don't know how you would figure that out. Yeah, just, yes, it's got two constants and two vowels. We go, how did you find this? It's just at the top because it's not really something you find in the mission, so, as far as I know. And a piece of me in it there is, but uh, don't really see any clues in here, in this letter, that it would be the word Bane. Unless there's some reference, I'm not kidding. But uh, that's the word. So let's go see what we've got in here. Big vault. On the left we have an ancient hammer. Bunk. And on the right, a stone hammer. Bunk. But the real prize is here. It's ballistic missiles. Ten of them. So let's go try that out. They sound like a lot of fun. Let's go find some zombies or something to uh, test this out on. I think it's one in front of the uh, church here. So we'll go around to the front. Yeah, not probably not very. Uh, in keeping with the rest of the uh, mission design. I actually believe that on the different difficulty levels, there's a different code, or a different clue, and different equipment inside, which is actually perhaps more relevant. I don't know. Uh, I'm uh, he's our friend, and I think he might have heard us. He's a bit suspicious. So let's give it a try. Kaboom! Wow. Did you see that blow up the corpse next to him as well? That's amazing. Let's find some more. I think there were a couple more uh, zombies down in front of the factory this way. Um, we had the sneak past before. Yeah. Out here. Oh, look at all these bodies to explode as well. Ah. Oh, there he is. I don't know that's the wind. There we are. Stick missile. Hello. Hello. Wow. This is so much fun. Uh, I almost wish I had this earlier in the mission, although it probably would have made it a little bit too ridiculous. Alright, let's block these bodies. And here's another zombie friend. Hello. Bye. A little blood spraying out. Alright, uh, oh, and here we can kill these banners that I could get for. Take that banner. Um, this one. Die. Alright. Oh, ow. Oh, those little sparks actually deal damage. Nice. Uh, I wonder if I can blow up this, uh, I think it's a blow up. Let's do the door. Uh, do I have the key? No, I don't. Oh, because this is the old save. Of course I don't have the keys. Um, yeah. And, uh, I don't think I can pick it either. No, no, never mind. I don't need to go that way anyway. Um, I was saying, I wonder if I can blow up this wheel. Let's give it a try. <laughs> well, I can blow up myself. Alright. Uh, well, that was just the ballistic missiles in, in the safe. Just put a nice Easter egg. That was the Inverted Mance. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you for the next mission.